All right, what up, you two? Uh, AC problems. Look, check this out. On mine, start it up. Turn your AC on. Bam. You cut your AC on, your compressor should come on. And your blower motors just start blowing the air out the vent. You know, everything takes time. It's manual. It's not electric, so you, you don't push a button and shit gets it coming on. Your compressor should be spinning like this. Anytime you cut your AC on, it should be come on. Anytime you cut your AC off, it should stop spinning like that. On, off. Oh, that damn. On. Nah, oh, man, I didn't blow my fuse. If y'all didn't do a new resistor, y'all didn't do a new blower motor, new compressor relay, new this, new that. That go right there, like that. I did all that shit. This is your switch. This is your control switch. So when you hit your, when you hit your switch for your AC, your, your compressor should kick on, your blower motor should already be kicking on, which it's not so this is what you need to replace and it's behind it's behind here so i'm gonna show you how to get to it all right hey real quick man shout out to these trill motherfuckers right here that you about to see on your screen make sure you follow me on ig as well and uh Thanks to all my new subscribers and all that other ass bullshit. Fuck with me if you fuck with me. If you don't, you know what you can do. But uh, all right, back to the video. You're gonna need to remove your glove box. Open your glove box, bam. Whatever's in it, take out. Uh, these two screws right here, bam. Take them out. Take your ashtray out. Push down on that little middle thing. Slide right out. Bam. You're going to need a Phillips too. Because you got a Phillips here and a Phillips here. You got two screws up under here. That should be silver. Five screws together. It's a screw here, screw here. I already took them out. So you worry about these folks. to remove that's the uh, temperature cable so that's this cable when you move that yeah. so in order to pull this up out of here see that, that cable needs to you just need to loosen it don't 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 start breaking shit because shit is brittle back here however old your car is and, and these parts ain't easy to find so y'all need to be careful Take your time, unscrew everything. Don't get to yanking and pulling on shit. You know what I'm saying? Once that's a little loose, then you can 
you can start trying to slide this up out of here. You got a lip right here. You want to kind of get that over that lip. And here, this will start sliding out, you know. You see what I'm saying? Loose. Now, don't get to pulling on it because you still got screws. You got screws on the side right here that you need to unscrew if you want to do the radio. But what we focused on is this piece right here. That's what this is. This is your control. This is your control switch. You see what I'm saying? That's your control switch. Control switch. This is what controls your functions. You see what I'm saying? When you slide this, that little lever is supposed to send signals to everything. It's just two screws. Unscrew those two screws. And you really can't go wrong. One for So then you unscrew that. Your AC ain't working. This is going to probably be your problem. You don't got to buy a whole new head unit because you're going to spend $300. You want to just replace what's going wrong. This is a blower motor switch. This is what we doing. Y'all be careful with them vacuum lines. Don't, don't yank shit out, man. Keep up with y'all little screws. It's very important. That's what that is. That's the switch. All right, I got the new one on. About to plug it up. Plug it up. All right, it's plugged up. It's in the socket. I mean, it's in the... That's the switch. So yeah, it's in there like that. All right, man. Before y'all put everything back together, test it. Start your car up. Turn your AC on, see if it come on. It should. All right. Shortest right here. Look. Shit kick right the fuck on. Bam. So as I'm riding and I hit a bump, it was off. It's gonna hit off. That's the bump. I would hit a bump. I I, I turn. Bam, the shit back on. I was I was doing my blow the motor switch thinking it was a switch but it's that man look it's a it run to this so I got to testing shit with my test light and it wasn't getting power until I moved that wire and it got power and now everything on press on I hooked everything back up and I said man it can't be too much of nothing so if y'all having that same issue in my case it was this wire I can move it and it go out See, everything out. You kick back on. That's the kick on. Off, on. I hit a bump, off. I hit another bump, ah, oh, that bitch kick on. You see what I'm saying? So, in my case, I replaced, I replaced this, cause I thought that's what it was. But all your wires, you wanna trace your wires. These wires, they get brittle. But that, that's my issue right here. Y'all yeah, see the little spark? So it wasn't getting a good ground. So now that it's getting a good ground, but I think that's the power. I think that's the power because this run to the fuse box. 